Hey everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. I hope that everybody is having an absolutely fantastic day. And if you guys are in the United States, tomorrow's Labor Day, so happy Labor Day to you guys. If you guys are watching this video a little bit later, then happy belated Labor Day. And if you guys celebrate a different holiday in whatever country you guys might be living in, well then happy holiday. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about today's uh, video and what we're gonna be doing in today's video. And that is actually addressing a question that I get asked a lot. Now, I have done a lot of videos on both of these, and you guys can actually verify this. That I've been playing Reddit Online for almost three years. It's actually been almost three years since it's been since it's been out. So I've been able to grind a lot of this, and I have a lot of tips and tricks that you guys can actually do. I've also taken like seven months off from playing Red Dead Online. You guys can check all my videos; they're still all public out there. I haven't changed anything. I haven't taken anything out, so you can definitely. Check those out if you guys want more specific strategies on how to do it but i want to go over probably two of the most profitable ways to actually earn money and we're only going to address the money in this specific video if you guys want to learn how to actually make a gold i'll probably talk a little bit more about that later uh, as some of that has slightly changed but not all of it now the two best money making methods do revolve around you purchasing roles. So in order to go ahead and participate in those roles, you do need to get a little bit of gold. And one of them is going to be a Madame Nazar and you're going to be doing a lot of different collecting. So as a brand new collector, you're first of all, I would have to go after like American wildflowers, the tarot cards, the antique alcohol bottles, and the bird eggs, and then some of the family heirlooms. Now, as, as you progress through your roles uh, with Mad Mazar as the collector, then what you can actually go ahead and do is start purchasing other things and other items that will make your job as a collector a little bit easier, like the metal detector um, and other things. I would highly stay away from buying the maps that are available from Mad Mazar because they are kind of a waste of money because you can always go ahead and go over to the Gene Rope map and I will do my best because I'm absolutely horrible at this of leaving a link down in the description so that you guys can go ahead and check it out. There are four tarot card options every single day and they are in their exact locations whereas anything that uses the field shovel or anything that you dig up basically will be a random item for that day so that just means that there's a high chance that you're not going to get a higher set of like the coins the arrowheads lost jewelry and other things like that so just do kind of keep that in mind but these uh tarot cards are basically what you guys want to be able to go after so this is the cup tarot cards you have the swords the cups the wands and the pentacles those are the ones that you guys want to collect you can make a ton of money from collecting these if you did all four sets from start to finish starting in say new austin and working your way across the map and going east and northeast uh you can make a little over a thousand dollars an hour because it's going to take you about an hour or a half to two hours to do it it's going to be about a thousand dollars an hour and that is a huge way of making a lot of money very quickly you can you can make that every single day now on top of that you can do the bird eggs you can do the antique alcohol bottles and you can also do the american wildflowers and the american wildflowers actually have three sets full sets every single day but a lot of the more common ones such as um uh, cardinal flowers and things like that well the chocolate daisies you can get a lot of those fairly quickly if you guys want to be able to sell additional ones on top of it now you can only have 10 of these sets at a time so if you guys are wanting to get more than 10 of those sets then you guys are going to have to make sure that you sell them before you start getting any more uh, of those items so collecting is by far the best way of doing this and before they actually changed it you can make four thousand dollars a day because you knew exactly where every single one set was at but it did take about five hours to do those entire collection sets so i uh, yeah it, it took a long time but per hour you're still making a thousand dollars an hour it was pretty good Good money and if you had the time and energy to put into it it was definitely worth it in the long run 
Now, this will cost you 15 gold bars in order to participate in it. So you guys are going to have to do whatever you guys want. So a quick tip if you guys are brand new to Red Dead Online is to actually go into your Rockstar Social Club account and complete your two-step verification. Uh, that will basically give you 10 gold bars completely for free. So that will definitely go ahead and help you guys out, at least getting the 10 of the 15 gold bars that are needed in order to at least get this uh, started and progressed to making a ton of money. Now, the other one um, is more of a passive income. And basically what you can do with, with that is, where am I, am I not seeing this card all of a sudden? And that's going to be the Moonshiner roll. So especially as you get better with the Moonshiner roll, when you first start out, it's not going to be very good at all. But once you can become an experienced Moonshiner, you'll be able to make quite a bit of money fairly quickly. Um, you can you spend $50 on mesh as long as you're not participating in any of the bootlegger missions. But if you do partic participate in the bootlegger missions, either naturally or the ones that are buy to buy maggie you guys can actually get discounted mesh which means that you can make more of a profit but if you do the best moonshine that is possible which is pretty easy to get all of the ingredients that are needed and you can collect a lot of those very quickly or sometimes even just buy them then you can actually go ahead and make basically 200 dollars every hour on top of your collecting that you're doing so you're making 1250 dollars per hour by doing those two things and that's exactly how i was able to make a majority of my money now since the rolls came into existence i have made more than half of my money from just doing the rolls and a lot of the other things that i've done i have started purchasing a lot more outfits so i've lost a lot of money because of that i've bought more horses i've bought more things that just require the money and it's not like the gold in some capacities where you can actually go ahead and get money back and gold back from doing daily challenges and other things like that but again we're going to stay away from the gold at least in this video so i would recommend going around and getting all the tarot cards at least as the beginning and as you start beginner collector roll and then as you progress through it then you can start working on some of the other ones and there are a lot of different sets that you guys can actually go ahead and collect every single day but that is my recommendation if you guys want to make a lot of money very very quickly it costs 15 gold bars to get into becoming a collector and you guys will be set with the amount of money that you'll need for whatever actually comes your way in the near future here in Red Dead Online. But hopefully this does help you guys out. If it does, then make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. And look at that. Another tarot card.